Hey, good morning, and welcome to the last day of 2018 at the Hughes Compound Southern Command. Holy cow, it is bright and warm out, and here's my co-pilot, Pavel. Say hello. I want to talk to you about TVs and expensive ones, cheap ones, but I finished my coffee poolside, so let's go to the house. So, uh, oh boy, it's dark in here. We did get a 70-inch TV, and it is in the master bedroom here. Oh! Look at that attractive guy on the TV there. Huh, he looks familiar. Uh, this is, uh, got this at Costco. So uh, they had an online deal of $7.50 for the TV. And, oh, she's attractive too. Oh, that's my wife. Uh, so that's flyingrich.com. So in, in case I haven't pimped my site enough, that, that is flyingrich.com. Um, so... We got this 70-inch Vizio Smart TV at Costco. Now, it has a Chromecast built into it. We I did throw a Fire Stick on it also because it, the Chromecast doesn't allow you to add apps, so that kind of stinks. Uh, but between the Chromecast... Oh, and I have no cable connectivity. I'm doing YouTube TV only. Uh, I don't know what's going on. My two months ago, my bill was like forty-three bucks. This month, my bill was thirty-three bucks. So I get all my TV needs. Now, somebody complained about this TV that there wasn't wire management. So what I did is I got these cheapy clips, uh, adhesive back clips. Let me see if I push the stick that way, the joystick that way. I got those cheapy adhesive back clips and threw them on. And you spin it around. Uh, didn't like this mount. Uh, it was a little bit of a pain in the butt to put on. And I, I threw that outlet in the wall, uh, recessed outlet. And as I say, Pebbles is people surfing. Oh no. All right, guys. So here's something I want to talk to you about. This was kind of an impulse buy. We picked up two of these at Wally Mart, and uh, it is the ONN. Never heard of it before. ONN. Let's see. So that's the remote. Not a good picture. And uh, it's a 43-inch TV at one Walmart. They had it for $168. At the other Walmart by me on Indian Town Road and Jupiter Farms, they had it for 150 bucks. So it's 43 inches diagonally, like 42 and a half, actually. It's 1080p, so it's not a 4K TV. But at 40 inches, you know, 40, 43 inch range, I don't think that's a big deal. So uh, it's actually lighter than the 27 inch TV that I took down from here. Smaller bezel, more modern looking on the sides. People have complained about the audio and they say if you put it in movie mode, it's good. Uh, you know, the audio is better. I just got these last night. I hung them up on the wall last night. Uh, I, they're dumb TVs. All right, so two things. One, 1080p. Two, uh, not a smart TV, which I don't care. You just plug a stick in, which is what we did. So there's no reprogramming, no new password, none of that stuff. So I thought that was pretty cool. The 1080p in this size is fine. Once you get 50 and 70 inch, like the Vizio TVs, the one in the living room's a 50 inch Vizio, the one in the bedroom's a 70 inch Vizio, then you really need 4K. But in 30 to 40 inches, yeah, 1K is fine. I'm telling you to, one, shop around at Walmart. One Walmart was 18 bucks more than this one. So make sure you're getting it for 150 bucks at whatever Walmart's near you. Two, um... I'm not saying go out and buy it. I'm saying go out and consider it because, like I said, we've only got a couple of hours watching the TV right now. And so far, I'm happy with it. And as a guest bedroom TV or whatever you want to do with it, I, I think it's a great option. Gosh, if it was smaller, I'd use it as a monitor. Uh, it has one USB input. It's got a cable input. It's got RCA jacks on the back. I'll, I'll link to this in the video. But um, definitely, I'm not telling you to go out and buy it because I don't have a long-term review of it. 
but definitely check it out if you're considering a 43 inch TV in that area. 150 bucks, I think, is a pretty good deal for what you get. Hey guys, uh, so I got a big day ahead of me. I got to clean guns because my wife and I went to the range yesterday and actually she liked the LCP2 by Ruger, so we got her one. I'm gonna be going by Harbor Freight. They have a Pelican case knockoff. My wife and I are going to Texas to do some firearm training, so I wanna be able to bring a couple of different pistols with me. So I wanna buy a bigger case than the Pelican case that I already have. Hi guys, happy deal hunting to you and happy 2019. Be safe out there.